Hey guys, what's up? This is Blender 3D Animator with his next Blender 3D tutorial. Now, today we're going to be going over um, animation in Blender. Now, you're probably thinking, well, animating is basic, that's, that's not hard. Well, this has to do with um, more so keyframes and IPO curves and uh, stuff like that. So, um, why don't we just get started? So, the first thing that we're going to go over is we can use our default cube and start by going to frame 1, pressing the I key, insert, it says lock rot scale, it stands for location rotation scale. So click on that and advance to about frame 50. Go to your top view, move your cube a little, go to front view, move it up or down and press the N key and you have a transform properties box. Now this is telling you the location, the exact location of the center, I think, of the cube. Excuse me. It's negative 2.677 on the x-axis, so on and so forth. Now we haven't added any rotation, so you can rotate it as much as you want here, add some there, and make it go spiraling out of control. Now, make sure you're on frame 50. You can add some rotation and location. And let's make it bigger on the x-axis. y-axis and smaller on the z. Insert location. Now, go back and press Alt-A. And your cube animates. Now, say you don't like that. Go to frame 50. And I want to make it rotate a lot more than the z-axis. Now you just increase your rotation, insert, location, rotation, scale, because all your other values that you had are there. Now you can rewind and watch it. Now it spirals. But I still don't like it. I want it to... Well... I want it to... Get stretched like this. And get thin kind of like that, really thin, and we need a little more rotation on the x-axis, however, and some more on the, uh, more on the y and x, so, uh, insert location rotation scale, all day, oh, that's cool, I like that, so, now, you're probably thinking, well, that's pretty neat, you know, for the cube. Let's um, add some subsurf. Whoops. Let's subdivide it twice. And then add subsurf. Set it smooth. Let's rotate. And sweep. So, if you want to turn it into an animation, you would just... Ah, camera's actually placed pretty much perfectly. Except you'd probably take your camera here for like that whoa and watch your animation and okay I can still lower this on the z-axis and if I go into my top view I can still make it closer so now we watch the animation we know where to position our cube. I mean our uh, camera. So now it's perfect right there. So you're probably thinking, oh, okay, okay, that's neat, but is there any other effects that you can possibly add? Yeah, there's tons. So let's go to that. Um, what the? Alright. So. Now what I want you to do, hold on a second. Okay, I'm sorry about that. So now what you're going to want to do is go into your materials tab, make sure you have a new material added, make sure you're on frame one. Um, I'm going to start with white. I'm going to start with white, and I'm going to keep it reflective with high specularity. So now, 
check it out from the camera view, even give it a render just to see what this white would look like with the high specularity and whatnot. Mm. Alright, pretty neat. Not bad. A little bit of a weird edge right there. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe another subdivide could fix that. Let's just check it out. Remember, this is just experimentation. Nothing's going to be perfect. Huh. I guess you're just going to have that because of the shadow right there. It's a weird shadow. So maybe by being able to fix this, Nice, helpful blender here. Just drag our light over here and render our frame. So now, the light is hitting this corner. No problems with our lighting. Now you only have your specularity that's high right there, but that'll be changing. So, after you've picked your first color, you can advance uh, to frame 10, okay? So you're starting to change. Drag your... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I apologize. Go to... Keep, stay at frame 1. Stay down here and press I. All color. Now advance to frame 10. Whoops. And change the color to... I don't know. Whatever you want, really. Um, I'd recommend keeping it light for now. Like a light color. So let's go with pink. I'm not gay. Insert all color. Go to frame 20. Change your color again. Change it to green. Another light color. Insert all color. Now as we get to frame 30, we'll go to some nice deep color. So a nice bright purple. Insert all color. Frame 40. Make it a bright blue. Like that. Insert all color. And for frame 50, we'll make it kind of like this kind of color. And I think this is the specularity. Yeah, which is that. We'll even add an effect to that. We'll, it'll stay like that throughout the whole animation. So insert uh, all color and the mirror, since we don't have mirror, it doesn't matter, so just keep it default, insert all color, go back to frame 1, go into your camera, make sure these edges line up with the edge of your screen to get a best view, so I'll do that for you guys, right about the, there, whoa, crazy, that is pretty neat actually. So, advance manually by using the right arrow key. So you can, that's high specularity. And you can keep advancing through, and you can see how it changes color. See, like, right there, it actually goes into kind of a gray to go to the purple. And then purple just slightly changes to, like, a like a nice, well, that's a neat shot. Let's render that. I like that. It's actually cool. Yeah, it's not as exciting in the render, but hey. Looks neat because it's, like, bright there. No, I forget. Textured. So you can experiment with that, and get, I don't know, this shot, just to give you guys an example of what um, it'll kind of look like. Let's go here, run to this. Pretty neat. Let's get that high specularity shot right there. What the? Oh. That's not it. There we go. High specularity, you know, basic stuff. So, you can go back to frame... Whoa. Frame 1. And, if you want, you can add some other options. Um, I don't know. You can make it mm, reflective or something, if you like. Why do I keep hitting shadeless? How does it... Ray mirror one. I think if we change the color and... Yeah. Alright, so let's make that a... Like a bluish... 
like a green egg and see the reflection.